welcome back to our YouTube channel and you're gonna notice something a little bit different. We've got our first ever video that we're doing now in our brand new decorated office. In this video, we're gonna be doing, doing something a little bit different. We haven't done it before. We've done a few videos on TikTok of it. We've done a few videos on Instagram of it. We are gonna be teaching you how to lace up an Alexander McQueen. We're gonna be basically doing a tutorial on lacing up the Alexander McQueen. They are like the most popular shoes. Loads and loads of people have them. When we put this video on TikTok, it went crazy. We got, I think, 70,000 likes on it. And that was when we weren't even doing TikTok. It was, it was a video, so a little story behind this video on TikTok. I laced it up because someone messaged us saying, how do you lace up an Alexander McQueen? So I was like, okay, a few people want to know this. So I took a video of it. I was gonna put it straight onto Instagram and I thought it needs a little bit of music behind it. It was just a bit boring. It was just a video of me lacing up an Alexander McQueen. So I, I had the TikTok app and I've already, I already did like three or four videos and we got like 90 views on each of them. And I put this um, Alexander McQueen lacing up video with the song Lace Up on the background of it. And when we put it onto TikTok, it blew up massively. So we got, I think, 300,000 views in like the first 24 hours. And then since then, I think it's on like 700 odd thousand views now. But that just goes to show how popular this shoe actually is and how popular people want to know how to lace it because the laces are bright white and the shoes are bright white. So adding a new pair of laces to these or like putting your new laces back in after you've washed them is essential because they just look a bit minty otherwise. Here at Lux Collective must have laced up, I reckon over 300 pairs of Alexander McQueen's in the past year. And they're honestly, it's such an easy thing to do once you know. So what you need is your pair of laces and your shoes. You need to put it in the bottom left hand one. Oh wait there, I need to do this. I've got another camera here. So what's gonna happen is they're videoing the camera here onto the shoes and you guys are gonna be looking at me from this camera. Okay, so you get your lace, you put it in the bottom. To me, it's the bottom left hand one. So if you're doing it from the top and you're pointing the shoe away from you, it's the bottom left hand one. Make sure when you're putting them through, it's nice and straight as well, because it would just save you time. See like that, it's nice and straight. It would just save you time, basically, fixing it all the way through. So this little loop in the middle, you only need to use it for the first beginning, so the one at the beginning. You don't really need to use it like, at, other thing, at, at any other time when you're lacing them. What this middle thing in the lacing is for is if you don't put it through this, the tongue, the whole tongue will just flop down like that and your laces will just be up here so they won't be attached. So this just makes the laces stick better to the tongue and it's a lot more comfortable on your shoe. So once you've done that, I would say that's actually perfect. Leave it about 15 to 20 centimeters, just like that. Can you see that? Okay, so what we're gonna do next is get this big long lace, make sure it's nice and straight, like I said, and literally, as soon as you've got the first one or the first little phase, it's the exact same the whole way through. So you get your lace and you put it over the top of the bottom right hand one and you will start to see already just a little shape or the little lace set forming. So that is the first thing you need to do. Can you see that? So that is what you need to do. And then the next one, make sure you're listening carefully, you need to go underneath. So you don't go over, you go underneath. So it's under, over, under, over. So that is underneath, make sure you straighten them out and then over like that. And that's it, literally, that is how you lace Alexander McQueen's. All you need to do is copy that all the way through. It's really easy. So these aren't just a lace set for Alexander McQueen's. Merit, obviously, Alexander McQueen's don't really look good. I don't reckon if you don't use this lace set, but you can use it for other shoes. So Valentino Rock Runners, they have it. The Valentino Rockstud sneakers have it as well. Loads and loads of other shoes have it. The Chanel logo sneakers, they do it. It's just a lace set that you use. Like it's it, it's it's just like a, another lace set that you can use. I think I think they do look better in shoes, but compared to the crisscross lace set, if you don't know how to do do it, it is quite confusing. So as I'm doing this, obviously, like I was saying at the beginning, the Alexander McQueen sneaker is a really popular shoe. So if you know anybody with an Alexander McQueen, if your friend has an Alexander McQueen, if your sister has an Alexander McQueen, if your brother, if your mum, make sure you share this video to them because not only will it help them out, 
but it will help our YouTube channel out as well. And it's just like, even if they don't have Alex and the Queens, it's just a nice lace set to know how to do. And literally, if you've been watching me do this, it's just like I was saying, it's the exact same as the first two things. And then you just copy it all the way through. Make sure you're left at 15 to 20 centimeters. So you look at that. It's kind of even, but it doesn't matter too much. And there we have it. We have done the lacing of the Alexander McQueen. Have a little look at that. So we can put that back in and we'll take our other one and look exactly the same. So it's not that hard. It's not that difficult. Once you know, I don't think you'll forget how to do it. So let me know down in the comment section if this helped you out. Let me know down in the comment section if you are now, if you can now do it. Have a little go now while you're watching the video. Do it, copy me. Let me know in the comment section what tutorial you want to see next because it's not just the Alexander McQueen laces. Everyone doesn't have an Alexander McQueen, so this won't help some people. But let me know what shoe you do have and I will help you lace that shoe up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.